Hi, I'm Mason. Hi, I'm Ruby. Hi, I'm Julia. Hi, I'm Kyle. Hi, I'm Paris. Hi, I'm Mackenzie. Hi, I'm Caitlin. Hi, I'm Sonia, and we are the 2014 China delegation. We completed a written application that asked us to provide a detailed response to three questions. We had to introduce ourselves and then provide an explanation as to why we wanted to go to China and what we hope to gain from this amazing opportunity. Finally, what contribution we had made and planned to make to the college in the future. The next step was an interview with the panel. We were asked questions about how we would bring back what we had learned in China to the college and what we would do when we were placed in a situation with a leader at the international school. So, uh, so after a week or so, the results are in and the panel have chosen the delegation. We were notified by the phone call that night. Hello Mackenzie. Yes, it's Mr Harding from school. How are you going? That's good. Any idea what I might be ringing about? Yes, it is about your interview today. I'm ringing to say congratulations. Yes, you're off to China. Well done. Very impressed with your interview today. You did a great job. Uh, you're going to have an amazing time in China. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll have a meeting with everyone in the conference room tomorrow. So when you get to, to school, come and see me and we'll, um, we'll organise a time. All right, you go and celebrate with your family and we'll see you tomorrow. Congratulations. Bye. The first week that we stayed in China, we stayed at Udalo International School in Zhengchen. This is a boarding school where students from all over the world go to complete the International Baccalaureate, and we were lucky enough to stay in their dorm rooms. The grounds are amazing, as Udalo used to be a botanical garden. We got to take in this scenery as we, as we were walking around the campus, whilst looking at the canteen, pool and classrooms. The New Horizons team of Jill, T and Jamie led us through group challenges, riding through rural villages, local markets and connecting us to Chinese culture. This is where we completed a research task on a topic of our choice and combined with community service we achieved a Global Citizenship Certificate from Melbourne University. We are so grateful to everyone at Udaloy for making us feel so welcome and giving us one in a lifetime experiences. What was the greatest challenge you overcame while in China? The um, greatest challenge I overcame in China was definitely the humid weather. Um, it was really hard to do some great activities in the heat, like uh, kayaking and biking, but we all came together and reminded each other to drink lots of water. And another challenge was to be away from my family, but um, ultimately I think it made me a more independent and self-confident person. What was your most awe-inspiring moment? The most awe-inspiring moment for me of the China Overseas Learning Experience was visiting the Forbidden City in Beijing, China. It was amazing to be standing in a place that I'd read about and seen pictures of for so many years and to actually be standing there in real life was almost unbelievable. The size, the beauty and the fact that this ancient palace is located in the centre of Beijing where it is literally surrounded by thousands of people, traffic and tall city buildings every single day just added to how awe-inspiring this beautiful piece of ancient history is. What volunteering did you complete in China? In our stay at China we completed two acts of community service, maintenance to a local primary school and secondly, helping with produce for a farm dedicated to an orphanage in Beijing. In our stay in Zhengcheng, we completed maintenance to a small courtyard for a local primary school. We visited this local primary school the next day and saw the reactions of the students' faces. And may I say, it was priceless. For our stay in Beijing, we helped with the produce for a local orphanage's farm, which uh, is dedicated to those whose parents are either in jail or have since passed and no other family member can take them in. We helped with weeding for a field that was to, um, to be used for their next crops and helped harvest chrysanthemums for a traditional Chinese tea. What did you learn from this experience? I learned and gained so much. I now have confidence within myself to appreciate all the things that we have in Australia. I learned how to voice my thoughts and now know how to share my ideas. I learned that the other China delegates are incredible people and I was so lucky to have spent the time in China with them. I learned that despite many wars and many years has not stopped China, this is no more evident that when I walked or actually climbed the Great Wall of China. Over all the years, it is an incredible country. The people, food and culture and atmosphere was fantastic. I learned how to be a better person and learned how to cherish the life that I have.
The overall trip was breathtaking. I absolutely recommend this learning experience. What was the weirdest thing you ate? Uh, the food was very confronting in China. Like one of the weirdest things we ate was a thousand year egg and the chicken feet in the crickets. Um, what I found was weird was the sweet and sour fish. It just had the burns in the eyes in it still. Don't think about it. Close your eyes. It's just protein. It's just protein. <laughs> The highlight of my trip was definitely Zhengcheng Number no. 1 Middle School, which is one of the schools we visited whilst in China. My favourite part was karaoke with the students, seeing the boys rock out to One Direction, all of us girls pump out the Spice Girls. I made many friends whilst in China that I will never forget. I one a friend in particular, my friend named Robo, who I gave a gift to so she could remember me by, and that I plan to stay in contact with for the years to come. How have you used the skills you developed in China since you've been back? Um, being over in China and put into a country that is completely different to Hoppers, um, I learned to become more flexible and open-minded regarding the new rules and culture. And then coming back to Australia, I just feel like I want to see more of the world and I'm more open to accepting change and overcoming challenges. And if I can use the Scott toilets, I'm pretty sure I can do anything. The application process will begin shortly. Make sure you keep an eye on the bulletin for the student and parent information sessions. You will truly not regret being part of such an epic adventure. Thanks for watching. Bye! Bye.